Hi friends, I am back with another C programming video tutorial for slide hunt. In this tutorial, we are going to learn character address in C. In C, character address are sometimes called string. The way a group of integers can be stored in an integer array, in the same way we can store a group of characters in a character array. To create a character array, first we have to write the keyword care and then the array name let's say name give here the square bracket and within the curly braces we initialize the array since the character must be written inside a single code so i am going to write each of the character in single code i n d i and then a similar to the integer array we can print the particular element of a character array to print an array element, I am going to write here printf. Since here we print a character, so we use here the format specifier percent %c. And then here we refer name. And within the square bracket, we specify the position of the element. I am going to write here 0. Element 0 indicate i. Let's check it. Compile and run. As you can see here, it print i. Similar way, we can print other element also. I am going to copy it. And paste here. I am going to write here 2. Let's check the output. Compile and run. As you can see here, it print i and d. Because here we first print the position at 0, that is i, and then position 2, 0, 1, 2, that is d, that's why it print d. If we want to print all the 5 characters, then we need 5 printf statement. Now consider there are an array with 100 elements. To print 100 elements, we need 100 printf statement. But this is not a good way to write a separate printf statement for each element. We can solve this problem by using a loop. Let's see how to do it. I am going to delete this statement. First we need to declare a loop counter that is int i. I am going to initialize it to 0. Next we write here a while loop while a pair of parentheses and then a pair of curly braces. Inside the parenthesis, we write the condition that is name of i is greater or equal to 4. Since the array element numbering from 0, so the last element will be 1 less than its size. That's why we write here 4. Here we use a printf statement to print the array element. printf percent %c and here we refer name of i. The next thing that we need to do increment the loop counter that is i plus plus. Let's check the output, compile and run. As you can see here it print India and then it print some other character also. Because in C a string is ended with a null value and the compiler continue to print the values until it get a null. That's why it prints some other values also. If we don't want to print other values, then we need to add here a null value. A null value indicate backslash 0. Now check the output again. Compile and run. As you can see here, now it print only India. Next we see how we can initialize a string. To initialize a string, first we need to write the keyword care, then array name, let's say name 1, square bracket, and then within the double quote, initialize the array that you want to print. I am going to write here is great. Here we no need to add a null value. Because the compiler add a null value automatically at the end of the string. The next thing is we print the string to the screen. So I am going to write here printf. 
Here we print the whole string, not a single character. For that we use the format specifier percent %s. And then add a name, that is name1. Let's check the output, compile and run. As you can see here, it print India is great. Because for this part, it print India and for this part, it print is great. That's it. Hope you understand. If you have any doubt, please comment on the video. Thanks for watching. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel Slide Hunt. You can like my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash slide hunt. And you can follow me on Google Plus at www.google.com slash plus slide hunt.